In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out WooCommerce Warehouse Management System Flutter Mobile Application. Hi, and welcome back to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out WooCommerce Warehouse Management System Flutter Mobile Application. Now using this Flutter Mobile Application, the warehouse managers would be able to manage the orders that have been arrived at the different warehouses uh, for delivery. Now kindly note that the warehouse managers would be able to accept these orders and they'll be able to proceed further and they'll be able to pick and pack the orders using the mobile application itself. Now kindly note that this particular application is available for both the Android and the iOS devices there and uh, using this mobile application the uh, warehouse managers would be able to manage the orders and verify the same uh, for the orders received at the different warehouses there. Now this particular mobile application is based on the Flutter uh, technology there. So in today's particular video what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be checking initially how the customers would be able to place the orders on the web store front end of the WooCommerce there. Thereafter we'll be seeing how the admin would be able to assign the respective order to the warehouse and the warehouse managers there. Apart from that then we'll be seeing the mobile end wherein we'll be seeing how the warehouse managers would be able to log into their mobile application and accept the orders how they can pick the uh, what we say as the uh, products for the respective orders add those products to the tote and how they can verify or how they can uh, make it as uh, shipped for the particular order there so in today's demonstration what we'll be doing is we'll be making use of the android uh, application there for the woocommerce warehouse management system flutter mobile application and we'll be demonstrating this particular functionality on the android device itself but before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial today please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so let's do one thing let's hop on to the woocommerce backend panel first and uh, thereafter we'll also be seeing how we can place the order in the first place and thereafter we'll be hopping on to the mobile end to show you the workflow at the warehouse manager end there so let's hop on to the woocommerce storefront first so right now you can see that i'm on the woocommerce web store front and so what i'll be doing is i'm on the shop page right now i'll be adding one product as a customer there into the cart and i'll be making a checkout thereafter so let's head on and let's uh, add one product into the cart and make a checkout thereafter so here you can see that i have the coffee day toned milk so i'll be adding it to the cart there i'll tap it on the view cart and here i'll scroll down and here i'll proceed to the checkout and here I'll be entering my first name, last name and my details for my address because I'm a guest user right now. A registered user can do the same as well. And after selecting the payment method, I'll just tap here on the place order button. Now, as soon as the order has been placed, we'll get one order number here. And uh, thereafter, what we'll be doing is we'll be hopping onto the admin backend panel. And there, what we'll be doing is we'll be assigning this particular order to a particular warehouse and a warehouse manager there so that that particular warehouse manager can ma manage that particular order thereafter using the mobile application itself on their Android device. Uh, for this particular demonstration, as I've already told you, we'll be checking the Android end only. Uh, for now so here you can see that the order number is 3459 and now what i'll do is i'll just go to the back end that and i'll just refresh this home page here and here you can see that 3459 jack daniel is there i'll open this particular order and when i open this order under the woocommerce orders and i scroll down here you can see that we have the item coffee day tone milk and here i can choose the warehouse so i'll choose the any railway hub and I'll be choosing the manager that's the John at the rate of webcool.com and then I'll we'll just scroll up and I'll just tap here on the update button that you can see so I'll just tap here on the update button and as soon as I tapped on the update button uh, the order would be updated successfully as you can see and if I scroll down here now you can see that the coffee date on milk uh, order has been assigned to the warehouse that's the any railway hub and the manager is john at the rate of webcool.com so that was the uh, customer workflow and then the admin workflow now let's hop on to the mobile end and let's see how the warehouse manager 
can manage this particular order that's the order number 3459 using the android mobile application itself so for the same let's hop on to the mobile end now so right now you can see that I've set up some props here and you can assume that this is a particular warehouse and within the warehouse I have a tote and I've set up my product on one of the uh, row, rows, columns and shelves of the particular uh, warehouse there. So now what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, looking out to the uh, particular mobile application for the warehouse manager wherein uh, first initially we'll be logging into the application itself and thereafter we'll see the process of uh, the particular warehouse how you'll be able to manage the particular orders using the mobile application itself on the android device there so right now you can see that i have the warehouse manager uh, mobile application on my android device so i'll be opening it up as soon as i've opened it up you can see the splash screen is there and after the splash screen we have the login page now on the login screen what i'll do is i'll just log in by tapping on the login there and we have two different options one is the order list and the other one is the verify option now if i go to the order list uh, here we'll find the complete list of orders and here you can see that uh, the order number 3459 that we had placed as a customer from the back end there or the storefront basically and assign it to the particular warehouse is visible to this warehouse manager itself now uh, on the top uh, end you can see that we have a search icon if i tap on the search icon you can see that uh, we have this option to search the particular order using the order id itself apart from that we have these three uh, horizontal lines if i tap on them then we'll be able to filter out the orders using the different states like initiated started picked unpack now the order would be in the initiated state when initially it is being assigned to a particular warehouse there so it would be of the orange uh, or the red color there then we have the started uh, status now when the tote has been assigned to a particular order it would be in the status state and when the particular products are added uh, to a particular tote then it would be in the picked state and when we are verifying a particular order at that time when we have verified the order the order would be set up as packed now you can basically filter out these orders if i tap here on the initialized you can see the initialized orders are there Similarly, if I tap on started, the orders with the totes uh, assigned are being displayed. And similarly for the picked, and if I go with the packed here, uh, the packed ones are also visible. Now let's go back and I'll go to the order list. So now let's see the procedure of uh, this particular mobile application, how it helps the warehouse manager to uh, basically assign the tote to the products and then how you'll be able to verify or pack the products using the mobile application within the warehouse itself. So we'll open the order number 3459 and here you can see that we have the coffee date tone milk and on the bottom end we have the option to add the tote. So here we already have a tote. So what I'll do is I'll just tap here on the add button and I'll set it as only one time and I'll be scanning the tote. You can see that the tote has been assigned successfully to the particular order. Now we need to add the products to the tote. For that, I'll tap here on the uh, coffee day tone milk product that is uh, available for selection now. So I'll just tap on that. And then you can see that we have the scan product barcode. So I'll tap on that. Uh, you can see that the coffee day tone milk has been selected. Now here we have the option to add the quantity uh, of the particular product. So I'll just tap here on the add quantity and uh, you can see that it's available at row 1, column 1, rack 0, shelf B. So I'll just add one quantity. So you can see that you have added the ordered quantity and I'll tap on the right arrow on the bottom right hand corner. Now we'll be setting it as item as collected. So I'll tap here on the submit option. Now you can see for the order number 3459, uh, the indicator or the status indicator is showing as picked in the blue color. Now we'll go back and we'll tap on the verify button to set the particular order as packed. For that, I'll just tap here on the verify. I'll scan the code. And on the top right hand corner, I'll tap on the tick mark. And you can see that it says item verified. Do you want to mark the order as packed? So I'll tap here on the submit button. You can see that the order status has been changed. Now if I tap here on the order list, now you can see that the order number 3459 has been completed and it has been packed for the shipment there.
So yes, that was much about the WooCommerce warehouse management of Flutter Mobile app at the warehouse manager end. And I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding the same, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then you can give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.